Oh, hey! That's what I was waiting for. She just bit the cone. Hey! I got the cone back. Send them hence a Davy Jones. It's a rum they want. Oh, okay. That's nice. Yeah, she did a nice job. Yes. <laughs> And I gotta say, that kind of just made my day at Magic Kingdom. Hey everyone, my name is Michael. Mike, Mickey, or hey you. During the pandemic, I started a podcast like everyone else in the world. But then my fiance introduced me to the Disney vlogging community. I've had some amazing adventures, met so many new people, and made lifelong friends. I want to share it all with you. So come along as my story continues with something I call Mousepiration. Well, it's been a long time, and by long time, I mean like a couple of weeks <laughs> since we've been in the Magic Kingdom. Obviously, a lot has happened since we are now, you know, we've been on club level before. <laughs> but more importantly, I had my surgery, and it's just been a while since we've actually visited the parks. Uh, but here we are, Magic Kingdom. We're probably going to try some treats today. That's our main reason for being here. We just came over from the Grand Floridian Cafe because we had lunch over there. I know, again. But for right now, let's go track down some Magic Kingdom treats. We're here for the Aurora Cone and the Rapunzel Sunday, And it's hot, so today's a good day for ice cream. Please help me late, don't make me wait. Just meet me down on me. And we're here on a Thursday, and we've been seeing a lot that they said the park crowds are low, and I gotta say right now, walking down Main Street, there's plenty of room to maneuver around. Chrissy pointed it out, she's like, wow, it doesn't seem like it's that crowded, and I agree. That's crazy. That's nice for once, but maybe it's the Florida heat that everybody's avoiding right now. Also right behind me, they have Casey's Corner. I know they're famous for their hot dogs. I have never eaten at Casey's but everybody praises it and I look at the menu and I see like the chili cheese dogs I don't know if I'm a fan of that I don't know if I could do that especially in the blazing heat boiled hot dogs already don't appeal to me but let me know what you guys get at Casey's I may have to vlog my first experience and just try it out The Aurora Cone and the Rapunzel Sunday can be found at Storybook Treats. All right, so this is what we're here for. We're gonna go with the Rapunzel Sunday, but first we're gonna get the Aurora Cone. I think we're gonna stick just one at a time right now because it is hot, so one is definitely gonna melt before we can get to eat it. Well, here it is. We're gonna try and eat this extremely, extremely fast because it's already like tipping over. Oh my God. Okay. Ooh, we got some shade here. Mm. I got it all over my lips. That's freaking good though. Here, Chrissy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Just my hands all dirty. I took the cones. We're trying to eat this as fast as we can. So. Now that I've slowed down just a little bit, I'm sweating. It is crazy hot out today. That's probably why the crowds are so low. But it's not humid though. It's not humid, it's just hot. This is delicious. This is definitely cooling me down. It's melting very fast. Let me have some now. <laughs> so when you purchase the Rapunzel cone, wait, no. When you purchase the Aurora cone, you can request an empty bowl they can't assemble the ice cream in the bowl, but they'll give you an empty bowl for like a day like today where it's melting really fast and you can kind of just turn it upside down and eat it with a spoon. But whew, actually in the shade right now is pretty cool. Um, I completely forgot to mention what was in the Aurora cone. So here's that description below. As all, I feel like I was doing the Crystal Palace. Hello, this is the Crystal Palace. So it's good. I definitely taste the strawberry. I know there's strawberry in it. 
uh, like strawberry Dole Whip. It is part of the Dole Whip family. I forgot to mention that. Uh, so it's really good. I like it. Because I'm not a huge fan on Dole Whip, but this I kind of like. Like I said, to me, this one kind of tastes like cotton candy. I get the blue is cotton candy. The blue is cotton candy? I don't know, but in the description below, you should be able to see if it's cotton candy. Strawberry Dole Whip and blue. Strawberry Dole Whip and blue. Blue what? Might just be it, yeah, I mean it's good. Like I said, whatever. And those little like yellow balls, I really feel like they're not giving any different flavor. I feel like it's more so for texture. It's nice texture. And she's almost down to the cone. Hey, that's what I was waiting for. She just bit to the cone. Hey, I got the cone back. We all know that this is the best part right here. Oh, it's actual flavor to the cone. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I can have the rest? Yeah. I can have the rest. Look, this is the best part of any ice cream. <laughs> but you taste, you taste the flavor? Yeah. In the cone? Yeah. There's like a tart flavor to it, like almost like a lime. It's not lime, but... Or maybe just because... It's just sweet. It's like a candy cone. Yeah. It's good. I like it. I love it. Mm. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. And here is like the final bite. Oh, cold. That's good. Mm. Now keep in mind, if you check the My Disney Experience app, you cannot mobile order uh, those two items. They are on a specialty item because they are limited edition. So make sure you get them while supplies last or while well, it's still on the menu at least. And right across the way at Pinocchio Village House, one thing that we saw the other day when it was raining, there's people were waiting on that second, like that second floor balcony. I didn't even know there was a balcony up there. We'll check it out and see what the view's like. Okay, and since it is freaking blazing out right now. We're gonna take a little air condition break and set a fire to the Caribbean. Fight the mother of lost lady. Swirly Captain Jack Sparrow and the treasure of your blue cat. There's a rock. Pipe down, you lily-livered lover. Strike your feathers, dearie. Show them your flock. Hey, send them hints to Davy Jones. It's the rum they want. Okay, back for round two because now we got to try the sundae because we just have to. Okay, go take a seat. We'll just go where we were before. Yeah. All right, let's go get the sundae. Oh, okay. That's nice. Yeah, she did a nice job. Yes. Yes, babe. She did a nice job. All right, so this is... What is this one, babe? Is this the Rapunzel sundae? Yes. Okay. So, I don't know if I can see, show you some details, but according to Chrissy, she did a really nice job with the Dole Whip. It's purple. It's yellow. Got strawberries, some strawberry like frosting on the bottom. You know what it is? It's very tart. I don't know. So I don't know if you could tell, but I definitely prefer the Aurora Cone over the Rapunzel Sunday. Again, it just when it comes to the lemon and milky things, it's not my thing. Um, it was good. However, like they had all the berries at the bottom. They had the blueberries, raspberries, strawberries with whipped cream and like those candy flowers. When I had a bite of that, that was like delicious. But again, lemon with the milk thing. If you like that type of stuff, it's great. Oh, and the bottom layer was like some kind of cake, like a shortcake or something like that. That was pretty good too. Again, with the berries, was great. It was just a lemon that threw me off. But if you like meringue, if you like that little tangy lemon flavor, you may like this one better. But it's Aurora Cone for me, so. Oh my god, the Main Street Philharmonic that came out here and performed. The coolest thing was they weren't on stage, they were actually down here interacting with guests. And I gotta say, that kind of just made my day at Magic Kingdom. Those little things are exactly what makes Disney Disney, the talent, 
the guest interaction. That was so cool. So shout out to the Main Street Philharmonic. And they said at five o'clock they'll be in the town square, part of the flag retrieval ceremony. Um, but that was just that was just a really nice surprise. I love it. All right, All right. mission accomplished. We got our Aurora Cone Rapunzel Sunday. Uh, but we're actually gonna head out of Magic Kingdom right now. There's some clouds over us. It's starting to drizzle just a little bit, and I think that's enough for me just today. Uh, just getting back into the parks. But we'll be hitting the parks a lot more now. Now that everything's all good. And uh, if you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, go ahead and smash that thumbs up. And of course, of course, click that stupid little notification bell. This time you get notified anytime we put up some new content. But until next time, let us not lose sight of one thing that all started with a man behind a mouse. And it continues with mouse creation. We hope to see you real soon.